We know that facing an enemy that embeds itself among civilians, who hides in and fires from schools, from hospitals, makes this incredibly challenging. But the daily toll on civilians in Gaza, particularly on children, is far too high. We want this war to end as soon as possible. Um, there's been far too much loss of life, far too much suffering. Uh, but it's vital that Israel achieve its very legitimate objectives of ensuring that October 7th can never happen again. Today, we also discussed the phased transition of Israel's military campaign in Gaza. We continue to offer our best advice for how Israel can achieve its essential goal of ensuring that October 7th can never be repeated. And we believe Israel has achieved significant progress toward this fundamental objective. As Israel's campaign moves to a lower intensity phase in northern Gaza, and as the IDF scales down its forces there, we agreed today on a plan for the UN to carry out an assessment mission. Uh, it will determine what needs to be done to allow displaced Palestinians to return safely to homes in the north. Now, this is not going to happen overnight. There are serious security, infrastructure, and humanitarian challenges. But the mission will start a process that evaluates these obstacles and how they can become, uh, be overcome. In today's meetings, I was also uh, crystal clear. Palestinian civilians must be able to return home as soon as conditions allow. They must not be pressed to leave Gaza. 